location of detectable warning services. The only time they're required in ADA is the ADAS Department of Transportation. Other than that, your standard 2010 ADAS does not require them, but now here in this section, they've adopted it. Detectable warning services shall be provided at the following locations on pedestrian access routes. So basically on the streets and at transit stops. So they basically have adopted this from PROAG and the 2010 ADAS for Department of Transportation. Curb ramps and blended transitions at pedestrian street crossing, pedestrian refuge islands, pedestrian at grade rail crossings not located within the street or highway, boarding platforms at transit stops for buses, rail vehicles where the edge of the boarding platforms are not protected by screens or guards, and boarding and aligning areas at sidewalks or street level transit stops for rail vehicles where the side of the boarding and aligning area facing the rail vehicles is not protected by screen or guard. There is an exception for detectable warning services shall not be required at pedestrian refuge islands that are cut through that are less than six feet in length. This cut through is less than six feet in length, so this meets the exception. Are detectable warnings still not required on site within parking lots? Correct. Curb ramps and blend transitions at pedestrian street crossing. Kind of just like the DOT requirements, the PROAG requirements. Think of it that way. 